Hello today's video we have the following content. Facts have proved that Tang Yan, who is not fighting or competing at the age of 40, has already walked out of another avenue for actors. At the end of 2023, the TV series Flowers attracted much attention and finally started broadcasting. It occupied the top of various lists as soon as it was broadcast. After all, this TV series is the first TV series directed by the famous director Wong Kar Wai, and it took a full three years to carefully polish it. Facts show that Wong Kar Wai, who has stepped out of the comfort zone of movies, is still the artist respected as a master by many fans. The quality of flowers can be called unprecedented and unparalleled, and it was even named by CCTV as a lonely piece. Wong Kar Wai once again showed his ability to everyone through this flowers, and the leading actors of flowers also benefited from it and ushered in a new peak in their careers. A flowers made Hu Jae win the Best Actor of the Year award given by CCTV, let Zin Silly step into the ranks of first-line female stars from the middle stream in the entertainment industry, and let the public appreciate the beauty of Mar Yuli. However, the person who benefited the most was probably Tang Yan. Before the broadcast of Flowers, many people's impression of Tang Yan was either Zixuan or Silly and Sweet. After Miss Wan and Flowers appeared, almost everyone praised Tang Yan's breakthrough, lamenting that Tang Yan had been in the industry for almost 20 years and finally had a role that could hold the scene. But strangely, Tang Yan did not take advantage of the popularity of Flowers to soar to the sky, but returned to her previous unpopular appearance. Many people think that Tang Yan has no ambition, but as long as you know her past and personality, you can see that Tang Yan, who does not compete with others or fight with others, has already walked out of another path that belongs to an actor. A three-year big bet. After the former four Dan and two Bing, netizens gave them new names for the new generation of outstanding female stars in the entertainment industry, and ranked six popular female stars with great development prospects, collectively known as the Six Golden Flowers. These six shining female stars are Yang Mei, Tang Yan, Zhao Liying, Liu Shishi, Liu Yifri, and Angela Bibi. They have been in the entertainment industry for a long time, and the situations of these six people are completely different. Yang Mei is a well-known strong woman in the entertainment industry, Zhao Liying has become a professional heroine, Liu Shishi has a happy and harmonious family, 36-year-old Liu Yifri is still a fairy, Angela Bibi was banned because of being deeply involved in public opinion and Tang Yan seemed to be no movement. Unlike several other golden flowers, they can have new works from time to time and get a new round of exposure, but Tang Yan seemed to have disappeared before the end of 2023. The last time she was seen by the public was in the TV series Unayande broadcast in 2020. When everyone couldn't figure out why Tang Yan suddenly disappeared, Wong Kar Wai came with flower and gave everyone a satisfactory answer. While other stars were fighting hard in the entertainment industry, Tang Yan was willing to stay out of the spotlight for three years in order to make the film Flowering Flowers a success. You know, for those stars who are most afraid of not being popular, exposure and popularity represent their careers. So this choice was simply a gamble. Facts show that Tang Yan made the right bet. The reward she got after three years is not only a good work that can leave a name in the domestic film and television industry, but also a direct change in the inherent impression of herself that has existed in the hearts of the public for a long time. The reason why Tang Yan became popular all of a sudden and successfully became one of the six golden flowers was because of her role as Zixuan in the TV series Legend of Sword and Fairy III broadcast in 2009. It can be said that before Flowering Flowers came out, most people's good feelings about Tang Yan still stayed at Zixuan 15 years ago. Breaking the Stereotype Since the end of Chinese Paladin III, the roles played by Tang Yan in those works seem to have entered the wrong place, that is, Silly and Sweet was complained by many people. Although Tang Yan has won many awards and honors with these works and roles, in the eyes of the audience, even compared with Zixuan and Chinese Paladin III, these roles seem to lack a bit of spirituality. This feeling, the audience can easily see that these characters are purely acted, and are not the kind of living, flesh and blood people at all. Because of these works and roles, Tang Yan has been left with the fixed impression that she can only play silly and sweet, has poor acting skills, and has a narrow range of roles in the eyes of the public. Therefore, when the fame of the other five golden flowers is increasing, the gap between Tang Yan and them is prominent, and this gap is gradually widening. Tang Yan is not young anymore. If she still plays silly and innocent roles, the peak of her acting career will probably be fixed in the three lifetimes of sadistic love 15 years ago. So this time, she spent three years on such a big bet, 
Not only because Wang Karwai is famous, but most importantly, Tang Yan wants to continue on the path of an actor. Since playing silly and innocent roles will be criticized, and this role is not suitable for the actor's age, she might as well take the initiative to change, transforming and practicing her acting skills better. If she wins the bet, there will be hope for the future. Even if she loses the bet, the situation will not be worse than the current embarrassing situation of not being able to achieve high or low. The best role since her debut. In fact, judging from the casting of Wong Kar Wai's Flower City, the success of this TV series means different things to each leading actor. Hu Jia has many classic works as a foundation, and what he's pursuing is a breakthrough. Mar Yuli wants to prove herself to everyone, and what she is pursuing is a baptism. Xin Xiliyi does not hide her ambitions and desires, and what she is pursuing is a ladder to heaven. For Tang Yan, who has never been competitive, the meaning of this TV series is not complicated, it is just an opportunity for change. As for whether she can seize this opportunity, it all depends on Tang Yan herself. After Flowers was broadcast, in an interview, the host asked Tang Yan do you feel anxious after filming this drama in three years? Tang Yan didn't even think about it, and immediately said, I don't feel anxious, I just feel very honored. In fact, the anxiety thing is purely because netizens found that several other golden flowers have been constantly launching works and participating in variety shows, and they have exposure and popularity every once in a while, so they are anxious for Tang Yan who is in the last place. Since Flowers was broadcast, almost overnight, Tang Yan's reputation and popularity have surpassed all female stars. In the original novel, Miss Wong didn't have that many scenes, and her character wasn't as likable as in the TV series. But Wong Kar Wai just loves Miss Wong, so everyone can see this pukesy pearl played by Tang Yan in Flowers. This role completely overturned Tang Yan's previous image of silly and sweet in the public's mind, especially the scene where Bei Ozong took a slap for Miss Wong. Tang Yan's acting skills here exploded, better than all the roles she has played in recent years. After Tang Yan's interpretation, Miss Wong, who looks a bit noisy, is like a little energetic sun, always full of vitality and shining. After watching Flowers, many netizens think that this is the most spiritual and vivid role played by Tang Yan since her debut. Tang Yan's acting career finally stopped at Zhuan 15 years ago. It was because of the role of Miss Wong that Tang Yan successfully won the annual Influential Actress Award at the second annual Chinese TV drama festival hosted by CCTV. After the explosion of Flowers, Tang Yan did not take advantage of this momentum to frequently show herself but return to the situation of not competing or fighting. This does not mean that Tang Yan no longer wants to move up the career path of acting, but that she has indeed found the path that suits her and has truly taken another path of development as an actor. Speaking of the profession of actors, no matter how much exposure or popularity there is, it is not as good as an outstanding work or a brilliant role. Tang Yan has proved this through Miss Wong and Flowers. Then let's wait patiently and see what kind of surprise Tang Yan will bring us next time. Next news. Tang Yan, with her outstanding acting skills, she is in full swing in the entertainment industry, and now she is really happy. Tang Yan, if he hadn't abandoned me, I wouldn't have married the mediocre Luo Jin. Who has Tang Yan loved? Who did she elope with but ended in failure? How eye-catching is her emotional journey? Tang Yan has been the focus of her family since she was young. With her beautiful appearance and outstanding acting skills, she has been favored by many directors and film and television bosses since she entered the entertainment industry. Tang Yan was one of the four new artists favored by Wang Jing at the time. They were collectively called the Wang Jing family. Under Wang Jing's operation, Tang Yan quickly became popular. She starred in many popular TV series in succession, showing her youthful vitality and infinite style. However, while her career was booming, Tang Yan also inevitably encountered two painful emotional experiences. She had loved Qiu and Gao Yangxiang, and both relationships ended in failure. Tangled torture with Qiu Tang Yan, 22, started a relationship with Qiu a male actor of the same age. The two met during the filming of the TV series The Three Daughters of the Xia Family. Qiu played Tang Yan's boyfriend in the play. Because they got along very closely both on and off the screen, it naturally sparked a spark of love. At the beginning, the relationship between the young couple born in the 1990s was very harmonious. Tang Yang got rid of the delicate image of a rich lady in the past and took the initiative to take on all the housework. Friends commented that Tang Yan at that time really loved Qiu madly and didn't care about washing his underwear. Soon after, 
Qiu's as true face was exposed. The staff who had worked with him complained that Tang Yang cared too much about Qiu's, but in return he was cold and ignored. What's more shocking is that during their relationship, Qiu's actually betrayed Tang Yan. A staff member witnessed that he and another actress had a secret contact on the set, and the two were intimate in the corner. When Tang Yan heard the news, she was shocked and cried on the spot to beg Qiu's not to leave her. After experiencing a heavy blow in her relationship, Tang Yan fell into a trance and her work was greatly affected. Everyone around her saw that this originally lively and cheerful girl became silent, inferior and timid under the harm caused by Qiu's. Finally in 2012, she made up her mind to break up with Qiu's and ended this relationship that tortured her. However, after the breakup, Qiu's openly claimed that I didn't do anything wrong, pushing Tang Yan into a new dilemma. The elopement with Gao Yangxiang was full of shadows. Just after getting rid of Qiu's emotional entanglement, Tang Yan encountered another wolf disaster in her life Gao Yangxiang. During the cooperation in the TV series A Hungry Game, the 28-year-old Tang Yan and the 31-year-old Gao Yangxian fell in love. Compared with Qiu's, Gao Yangxian showed unprecedented delicate care for Tang Yan. The two were very affectionate. Close friends described them as a pair of young lovers in love at the time. Gao Yangxian also showed his dominance and control. It is reported that in order to own Tang Yan, he proposed to her many times, hoping to lock her tightly with the bondage of marriage. Tang Yan felt extremely disgusted and afraid of this. As an independent post-90s woman, she did not want to enter into marriage at such a young age and be bound by others. Therefore, Tang Yan rejected Gao Yangxiang's proposal. Gao Yangxian was resentful of this and began to control Tang Yan more strictly, further weakening her self-confidence. An assistant who was with Gao Yangxiang at the time revealed, when they were together, Boss Gao often criticized Yan Ian, saying that she was average-looking and her acting skills were not outstanding, which made her completely lose confidence. The most shocking scene was that one day, the staff witnessed that Gao Yangxian actually questioned Tang Yan, Are you with other men behind my back? Then he beat her. Tang Yan was very scared at the time and cried and said that she had never expected such a thing to happen. After being treated like this by Gao Yangxiang, Tang Yang could no longer endure it and finally chose to separate from him in 2015. Then, there was news that she and Gao Yangxian had planned to elope, but failed to do so, which almost made her fall into the bondage of marriage. Fortunately, fate arranged for her to resolve this disaster and successfully avoid the bitter situation of marrying into a cage, otherwise her future would be completely destroyed. From Qiu's up to Gao Yangxiang, Tang Yan experienced the trauma brought by two relationships, which almost put her in a difficult situation in life. After experiencing two painful relationships with Qiu's and Gao Yangxiang, Tang Yan has completely lost confidence in love. Friends around her saw her gradually losing weight, and the whole person looked very bleak. Even work was difficult to go all out. They worried that she would ruin her career. Prince Charming broke into Tang Yan's life. He is a colleague of Tang Yan who has known each other for a long time Luo Jin. The two were already brothers and sisters in the TV series Gone with the Wind broadcast in 2012, but now they have become inseparable lovers. In fact, Luo Jin's emotional experience was quite tortuous in those days, he was born into a film and television family since he was a child, and he can be said to be a veritable second generation rich. At the age of 19, he quickly became popular because of an idol drama and became a popular young actor. After that, he started a relationship with the popular actress Miao Miao, and the two were hailed as model lovers. Because of his tall, rich and handsome status, Luo Jin was regarded as a disaster by Miao Miao's parents. Under the obstruction of his family, Miao Miao finally decided to break up with Luo Jin, which made him feel disappointed and helpless, and even considered quitting the entertainment industry. Just when Luo Jin was exhausted physically and mentally, he and Tang Yang got together. The couple who had been hurt finally found each other's support and comfort. Friends commented that Tang Yan at that time seemed to have finally met the owner of the kite, and under Luo Jin's care, she gradually regained her former glory. At the same time, Luo Jin also regained his passion and fighting spirit for his career because of Tang Yan's encouragement. The two healed each other in this way, went hand in hand, and actually fell in love for a full six years. In this relationship, they went through countless tests and finally got married in Vienna in 2018. After marriage, Tang Yan enjoyed the extra love she had never experienced before. A staff member mentioned that Luo Jing cared a lot about Tang Yan, 
and even kept an eye on her when she was working on the crew to prevent her from being bullied or hurt. Once, a staff member showed disrespect to Tang Yan, and Luo Jin scolded that person on the spot and gave him a severe lesson. What's more interesting is that the sweet daily life of the two is often exposed on the internet, becoming the dog food in everyone's mouth. Once, Luo Jin publicly showed his affection on social media and posted a message saying the person I love most is Yan Yan, which attracted the envy and jealousy of countless fans. Even during Tang Yan's pregnancy, Luo Jin has been taking good care of her. It is rumored that he once waited outside the delivery room. After the child was born, they also publicly shared a happy photo of the family of three, and netizens praised this is the most real happiness. Tang Yan, who had suffered many grievances from Qiu Zhang Gao Yangxiang, has finally entered a wealthy family and lived the princess-like life she had always dreamed of. Her friends are all pleased and proud of her. Therefore, although Tang Yan's emotional experience was bumpy, she finally found her true love and realized her ideal self. This just shows that the charm of life lies in constant pursuit and hard work, and never giving up. Disclaimer, the descriptions and pictures of this article are all from the internet. The purpose is to convey positive social energy and avoid any vulgar or bad guidance. If there are any copyright or character infringement issues, please contact us in time and we will delete the relevant content immediately. If you find any questions about the event, please contact us and we will modify or delete it quickly. Thank you for watching the video. Please leave your opinion in the comments section. Don't forget to press the channel subscription button. If this is the first time you watch a video on the channel, 